School librarians in Florida are now required to undergo specialized state training on the new rules for what can and cannot go into school media centers. That training was finalized last week in accordance with a new state law, and citizens now have an opportunity to weigh in. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean got a hold of the training material, and he's joining us live from Landon Middle School. Joe? Yeah, Joy, these uh, rules were part of a, a wave of legislation uh, that are that was meant uh, to more tightly control how race, how sexual orientation, gender identity are all talked about in schools and taught. Uh, the, the aim of these laws is to more tightly direct how library and, uh, and instructional materials are chosen and make that entire process more transparent. As of January 1st, the people who curate libraries and instructional books and media in Florida schools are legally required to undergo comprehensive training on the rules that dictate the process. The list of rules includes criteria like avoiding unsolicited theories that may lead to student indoctrination. Also, consider the age of the students who could access the material. And materials should serve an educational purpose. The rules also require that media specialists consider, quote, the broad racial, ethnic, socioeconomic, and cultural diversity of the students of this state. One section of the training also tells staffers that instructional materials should, quote, not contain any matter reflecting unfairly upon persons because of their race, color, creed, national origin, ancestry, sex, religion, disability, socioeconomic status, or occupation. Kathleen Daniels is the president of FAME, the Florida Association of Media in Education. There, there absolutely should be a challenge process. Parents should be able to question things um, that are materials because, again, media specialists were just one person. Daniels, who is a parent herself, said parental rights should be respected, but... But what should not be respected <laughs> in the sense or, or allowed is for my views to dictate what another student can or cannot read. That's where, you know, we as media specialists really have to draw a line. Irene Morse is on the library committee of Landrum Middle School in St. John's County. She said the rules are attempting to solve a non-existent problem. I think there's not a lot of forward thinking with this. I don't know that they were really solving a problem that exists at all. Most troubling for Morse is that the rules allow a single person in the district to object to materials and trigger a review, even if that person hasn't had any education or training. Is Florida looking down at experience? Are we saying experience doesn't matter and just having opinion is sufficient to educate our kids? So what happens now? Well, according to the law, the uh, the uh, state has until July 1st. At that point, every superintendent of all 67 districts in Florida have to send uh, a notice to the Florida Department of Education that all of their school librarians and media specialists have undergone this training. Again, that deadline, July 1st. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Well, Joe, the general public also has a chance to weigh in on these new rules. They do, and the uh, State Education Department has a list, uh, an online portal that has a list of all of the rules that are under consideration right now, and it gives uh, uh, any anybody the opportunity to go in and make a comment. You can fully rev uh, review the rules as well for yourself. Uh, we have a link to that portal inside this story on newsforjacks.com. All right. Back to you. Joe McLean reporting live tonight. Joe, thanks.